We are the Very Pink History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. There's a theater shaped hill behind us. It's the Théâtre Gallo Romain, the Tenac. Let's go check it out. We find ourselves in the Charente Maritime in France. In the Roman days, it was part of the province of Aquitania, a heavily Romanized part of Gaul. It was here during the reign of Emperor Nero that a rural sanctuary was built. As it was located along the roads between the cities of Mediolanum Santonum, which is Sand today, and Burdigala, better known as Bordeaux, the site must have seen a lot of traffic. The sanctuary did not just consist of a theatre. Remains of a bathhouse have also been found nearby. Fragments of a statue of the Roman god Mercurius were found here, which could also mean this place was dedicated to this deity. This location shows a lot of resemblance with the Gallo-Roman site at Champlieu, which we have visited before. At Champlieu there were also remains of a small temple or fanum, but no traces of that have been found here at Tenac. Here at Tenac, we have what is known as a Gallo-Roman amphitheater. It is a hybrid between a normal theater, which is semicircular, and an amphitheater or arena, which has an elliptical shape. They differ in their designs because of the increased size of the round orchestra. In addition, the cavea, which are the stands for the spectators, almost completely envelop the orchestra. In more prominent examples, it is almost completely enclosed in a horseshoe-like shape. The further away you go from Rome, the more of these peculiar theatres you find. Thénac is no exception, as rural France is full of them, which we will no doubt see in future videos. All that remains today are the foundations of the cavea divided into six stands by the five radiating corridors known as vomitoria. The seats were undoubtedly made of wood. None of the sources we used could tell us how many spectators could fit in this theatre, sadly. Usually, these theatres are built into the side of a hill, but that wasn't possible here on the flat land. It is a large, man-made mound and needs significant support. Archaeological research discovered that it was supported by round buttresses. These could withstand the huge thrust of the earth on top. This image best shows what that would have looked like. As early as the end of the 2nd century, the theatre saw little use. It was gradually abandoned and buried beneath the dirt. Research done in the 19th and 20th century have uncovered most of its treasures, but there is no knowledge what else might remain dormant in this Aquitanian soil. Perhaps one day, the temple we mentioned might still be found, and when it does, we'll be there to document it. Thank you for joining us on our short but hopefully sweet exploration of the Theater Galleroman de Tenac. I thought it was uh, bigger than Champieu, but also less visible. What do you think? Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how many people would be able to sit here. We will probably have told you in the video though. We'll see you next time, we were the History Hikers. Like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of historical places. Until then, bye!